Good afternoon, ladies. <laughs> How is everybody today? Good. Good. I'm fantastic. Thank you. I'm really happy that you guys came. We're going to have some fun today. This is a fun little seminar. Um, my name is Alexis, and I am the Enhanced Beauty Area and Salon Manager here at Nature Time. So beauty is my passion. <laughs> And um, I was trying to discover some ways to kind of fit in our really unique footprint here, how we can help to communicate with our clients and kind of show things in a new and innovative way, you know, really trying to stay on the cutting edge and um, bringing something fresh. And I only have three signed up, and since there are three here, <laughs> I know. We're going to get started right on time. And then if others join, that's great. We'll welcome them in as they come. Um, so we'll get to play with each of you today on the look. Hi, welcome. How are you? Just in time. Perfect. Now, um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Part of what brought me here to Nature Time is I was working in a corporate career for about 15 years with a little company called OPI, if you're familiar with the polish. So I am a licensed nail technician and I was traveling and doing a lot with my job. I have three children. Their age span is 17, who is just graduating high school, 10 and 3. So hands are certainly full. <laughs> and two years ago, in the midst of all my fun chaos, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And that really kind of changed my perspective on life and happiness and, you know, providing for my family and providing for myself, my own needs. And so I decided to change my career. I went back to school and got a license in aesthetics, which is part of why I was able to understand a little bit about your skin <laughs> the other day. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm green, that's why I'm having you talk to Gretchen today. Um, but I, I love this industry and I love bringing comfort and confidence and relaxation to people because I think it carries on in our health and in our well-being and in our confidence as we go. Um, so that brought me here. I, I kind of changed gears and they were looking for a manager and I loved the concept and being that I am sensitive now to what I put in my body and what I put on my body, being a survivor, um, this has been a great fit for me. So I'm very happy. Uh, to stand here today and present this to you. So to get to know all of you a little better, we're going to take a quiz. And it's not a hard quiz, I promise. It's actually kind of delicious. It's called the Dessert Personality Quiz. So let me bring it up on the screen for you. I know, right before lunchtime, right? I'm going to make you all hungry. Okay. So this is a quiz for fun. There's no right or wrong. And what I would like you all to do is, out of those desserts there, just pick one that stands out to you. It doesn't have to take a lot of thinking or time, really. You know, just any one of these, angel food cake, brownies, lemon meringue pie, vanilla cake. You'd be surprised which one you pick. It sometimes might not be one you would even eat all of the time. <laughs> oh, I want the whole list. <laughs> okay, does everybody have their top dessert pick? Okay. So, how many of you chose the first one, angel food cake? Nobody? No angels in the room. Okay, I see what I'm dealing with here. Oh, I'm kidding. Okay, how about brownies? Okay, brownies, you're adventurous, love new ideas, are a champion of underdogs, and a slayer of dragons. When tempers flare up, you whip out your saber. You're always the oddball with a unique sense of humor and direction, and you tend to be very loyal. Did we miss the mark? Did we hit the mark? It's kind of for fun, you know, but cutesy. Okay, so we know what our brownies are. How about lemon meringue pie? No lemon meringue pie? Okay. How about vanilla cake with chocolate icing? Okay, we'll move right on. How about strawberry shortcake? Okay, strawberry shortcake is romantic, warm, and loving. You care about other people and can be counted on in a pinch. You tend to melt 
And you can be overly o emotional and annoying at times. <laughs> I don't write this. <laughs> okay. She's like, hey, I'm not annoying, all right? <laughs> Maybe because you are, you know, a pushover, you know, if you tend to melt. So it's like, come on, toughen up, you. Okay, chocolate cake with chocolate icing. Any takers? Okay. Ice cream. Okay, ice cream. You like sports, whether it be baseball, football, basketball, or soccer. If you could, you would like to participate, but you enjoy watching. You don't like to give up the remote control. You tend to be self-centered and high maintenance. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting how sports and high maintenance tie in together. Okay, anybody ch uh, choose carrot cake? All right. Now, amazingly enough and oddly, I chose lemon meringue pie when I first did this quiz. And I don't eat it on a regular basis, so let me just read to you a little bit about myself. I'm smooth, sexy, and articulate with my hands. I'm an excellent after-dinner speaker and a good teacher. Well, let's hope so today, right? But don't try to walk and chew gum at the same time. A bit of a diva at times, but you have many friends. And I'll tell you, it was very <laughs> accurate because I tend to be a little divalicious. Okay, so that's just for fun. Okay, so a virtually new you, taking the fear out of trying a new look. So how many times have we done this? We've thought about a look that we want to do, and we've kind of dived in, and we wish we had that rearview mirror to say, ooh, had I known going forward, and I tried to pick the craziest makeup and hair picture I could find. <laughs> I, I know, this is extreme, right? Although, very interesting, high fashion. Um, a lot of times, though, we see a look, whether it's in a magazine or on a person walking by or a friend, whatever it may be, and think, oh, wow, I really kind of like that. I wonder if it would look good on me. And usually we have to leap in order to know, right? We kind of already committed to it, and then it's like, oh, darn. And I know for myself, I want to have... 500 hairs more on my head than I probably do. <laughs> you know, Farrah Fawcett and Kim Kardashian, I don't have their hair, but I wish I could. So, well, you know, I'm sure Farrah Fawcett must have been, because I don't know that they did a lot of extensions and things back then, although who knows, Hollywood secrets, right? Yeah, but clearly Kim Kardashian wears a bag of hair. <laughs> Not quite like that hair. <laughs> But she certainly wears the hair. Okay, so if we could have kind of that three-way mirror for our look, you know, when you go into the store and you try something on and you can check it out from all angles before you make the decision to purchase. Okay, so getting your point across. I think this is part of why it's difficult sometimes when we try a new look is the communication between yourself and the professional. You know, you're describing something in one way and they're hearing it in a completely different way because they're thinking of it from a technical standpoint. Um, an example is I just got an article sent to me from the Huffington Post talking about organic color and I tried to peruse it real fast before we started today. But what was interesting is how the writer, and it's totally from a uh, layman's terms, the way it was written, it was not a professional at all. She says, my die job and <laughs> all these other things. And I'm like, ah, die job but very cute, and she spoke about how she learned how to articulate exactly what she wanted. I want copper red, not purple, you know, so sometimes getting the lingo down can be difficult. So, so many times you come into a place looking for a certain look, style, color, and the communication is longer than the actual service, <laughs> taking the time to talk. So with today's technology, this is actually a concern of the past. Let's eliminate the guesswork in our look. So, color choices. How many times have you thought about changing your hair color? Ever? Have we changed our hair color? Okay. Have we regretted it in the past? <laughs> have we... Huh? It's different. Is it? Oh, no. Well, welcome. We're, you are beautiful. Please, don't even worry about it. Oh, good. That's why you're smiling and relaxing. <laughs> yes, Gretchen is wonderful. Um, so if you haven't ever colored your hair, is it maybe because you're fearful of making the change? You said you never colored it, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, well, you know, sometimes those lovely little gray friends of ours we have to cover. But, but for yourself, have you ever thought about coloring your hair? Yeah, I'm talking yeah, to you. Sorry. <laughs> um, I have thought about it. Okay, okay. And is it something that you were kind of fearful of because you're not sure how it's going to look? Absolutely. Well, and the nice thing about color, I can tell you, is that we can always correct it, too. You know, a lot of times people don't do color because they're so afraid, you know, what if it comes out bad? I mean, unless we go really off the deep end and make you bright red, and then we can always correct that with a wick. But <laughs> we don't want to have to go to that extreme. So um, haircuts. How many of you have thought maybe, especially you long-haired gals, about chopping your hair? But, oh, my gosh, what would it look like? Okay, that's another biggie. You know, for myself, again, kind of going back to my personal story, my hair was probably about your length when I was diagnosed, and we decided, my children and I, to take control of the situation, and so they went with me, and I had my barber shave my head, and they got to each cut, and it was awesome. It was so liberating. And now my hair has been growing quite a bit, but I want the front to be longer, and I get this chemical bang, if you will, <laughs> every time I color my hair. Um, but I've really kind of become attached to my short do. And I totally can relate to when we have longer hair, it becomes kind of a security blanket for us, if you will, something that you're used to. A good friend of mine also has recently lost quite a bit of hair. She went through surgery, and um, in her recovery process, a lot of hair has come out. And we convinced her to cut about six inches off because it was just so straggly at the end. And she was like, I can't believe I'm doing this, but it looked so beautiful after. So it would be great if we could maybe try that that cut on before we make that decision because that's something we can't fix <laughs> without a wig. Um, makeup shades. How many of you have thought about maybe going more dramatic with your makeup but you were concerned if it going to look crazy? Makeup's probably an easier one to play with because again we can cleanse it right off right away. And then of course different styles and trends. There are so many different options out there and while you may not want to look like the woman in the first picture, um, there may be a trend that you're like, gosh, it looks so cute, but I just don't know. Is it appropriate for my age? Is it hard to maintain? What would I have to do in order to have that look? So, of course, the list goes on and on and on. But with modern technology and apps, which are so fantastic and amazing and make life much more simple, we can actually take those question marks away. So, steps to a virtually new you. One of the things we do first is just take the picture. It's nice and simple. We don't have to cut a strand of hair. We don't have to apply any color. And even with the makeup, we're just going to take your photo. We pull all the hair back from your face. Okay? Then you can decide on the look you want. Do you want to play with short hair looks? Do you want to change up your long hair? Do you want to see what it looks like if you grew your hair out to have long hair? Um, special event looks. Say you want to have an updo done for a dinner or a wedding, but you're not sure how that's going to look. Okay? Then, once we take our picture, the fun begins. Hi, welcome. Okay, so we can try on dozens of looks with the swipe of the iPad. So it's really kind of fun. Yeah, and wait till you guys see. Yeah, I, I was just about to send you over, but we'll see you back in a moment. Sure. It's really quite fun. So once we get your picture and we decide on the type of hair looks, you're going to see a whole pane pop up to the side, and we're going to play with this in a moment. And you can try on different things. You can change the color of the hair. It's really quite fun. Change the length and so on. I know. Oh, my font isn't very good. I love Marilyn. I feel like she's, you know. Yeah, so classic and, and a great example of what, you know, a little bit of beauty can do in terms of empowering you and making you confident and, you know, wonderful. I know, but she thought she was the cat's meow and, and everybody else, you know, agreed because of her presence, which is amazing. Okay, and then there's Jane, and my font didn't want to cooperate with me. <laughs> um, how many of you use Jane Iredell Cosmetics? Some? Okay. I... Oh, a few of us have said that. I have had a few say that. Mm hmm And and I'm new to the Jane actually since I started here. Um, so I'm not familiar with the old formulation. However, I know that they are working on new things too. Hopefully they'll come out with something that's a little more pleasant. But uh 
Well, sometimes I think it's better if it's dry to actually put like lip drink on first. You know, put something on to moisturize the lips and then put the lipstick on and that will help too. But what I find impressive about Jane is it's actually considered a skincare makeup. They're not just considered cosmetics or mineral makeup, they're a skincare makeup. When you purchase a foundation, let's say, for example, it comes in a powdered formula, liquid formula, loose pressed, it actually does several things. One, it obviously corrects the skin, evens out your skin tone, but it also acts as a natural SPF because of the minerals, so you're getting your sun protection. And it also protects from other environmentals, like the um, pollution in the air, um, when we're exposing our skin to the harsh wind in the wintertime, and in the summer, of course, the dry heat. So it's really a very nice multifunctional product. But with Jane, sometimes we're afraid or timid about you know, trying on a look, and so we actually have an app for that, too. <laughs> So the same concept is going to apply here. First, we're going to take your picture. Then we decide through the use of the color seal what type of products to try on. So whether it be a foundation, an eyeshadow, a bronzer, a lipstick. And the Jane app is not as um, empowering, I think, as the hair app, but it is kind of cute and kind of fun. And the Jane, I believe, you can even download to your smartphone if you have one. Okay. So the old saying, a picture says a thousand words, is so true. The best feature of these apps is we can use these as a tool of communication now between yourself and your stylist or the cosmetic counter, um, our makeup artist, to say, this is what I was thinking about. This is what I would like. Can we take this and you know, apply it to what I have? You know, that really takes a lot of the guesswork away. And again, if you have fine hair and you're picking out a style that's really good for thick, coarse hair, then they can say to you, you know what, this isn't really feasible, but let's look at some other options. And that gives them a visual too. Because stylists, estheticians, cosmetics, um, makeup people, what do we call ourselves? Makeup artists. <laughs> I knew there was a technical term. Sometimes, you know, the brain. Um, we are visual people, creative people. So sometimes words just really clog our brain when you say, oh, I want this fun, flippy, short cut that has an angle to it, kind of like that actress, you know, in that movie. We're like, mm. But if you put a picture in front of our face, then we're like, oh, yes, okay, sure, I know what, what you're saying, and we could throw a little highlight here. It'll accentuate the style, et cetera, et cetera. So having that visual piece is really great and very important. So who wants to try it on? <laughs> okay. One of the things that I found um, recently and I thought it was really interesting is never be afraid to try something new. And while we're not building anything here today except maybe our own self-esteem, I thought this was kind of a neat little quote. Remember, amateurs built the ark. Professionals built the Titanic. So you don't have to necessarily know what you're doing <laughs> to be able to make that happen. Okay, so we're going to switch over my technologies here, and we're going to put the iPad in. Who wants to go first in terms of, I'm going to put you up on screen, so as long as you're good with that. Okay. Okay. So let me go back to the beginning here real quick and just show you how our little fun app starts. So this is our Hairstyle Pro. It even does men, so if any of you ladies are curious about a beard for yourself. <laughs> Although I highly doubt it. <laughs> okay, so the first thing here, you can see it says Get Photo. So you click on Get Photo, and you can take a photo. You can use a photo from album, any recent photos, and then, of course, mottos. So we are going to go from our camera roll, and we're going to bring up Dawn's photo. Now you see that fun little band in the middle of her eyes there? It looks like a little funky sunglasses. <laughs> the fun thing here is we're going to adjust this app. So I'm kind of just pinching and squeezing her face, the picture, to line her eyes up with that fun little band there. Okay. 
So we can zoom in and out. Once we get it where we want, we click Go to Style. And here we have a short hairstyle. <laughs> Don't do, right? <laughs> okay. So, John, do we want to look at some long styles first, since that's what you have is long hair? Okay. Let's go to long styles for women. Okay. Check that out. Now let's get rid of the background here so we can see and we can play with the style. <laughs> so now I'm going to click on styles from the top and you can see this banner here that's coming up and down on the left. These are all different styles and looks that Dawn can try. She can do layers. Oh, that's a cute one. <laughs> it's a bi-level layering. She can do different types of colors. So, Dawn, do you want to come over here maybe and pick a style from the iPad that looks like something you would like to try? Well, what you would do, this is why the visual is really more important versus the program saying, here's what looks good to you, because a style that it might like, you may not agree with or you may not be comfortable with doing. So it's really about having that concept in mind of what you like, so you can flip the, the part of the hair, and then saying, yeah, I wanted to know what I look like with this hair. And then we can change the color, too. Down here is hair color. So say she wanted to go dark. This is original. Okay. So I'm going to have you kind of page through some of these styles, and we can pull up medium styles, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is her normal look of what she normally gets somewhat. You don't do bangs, really, though? I've done bangs, but they've grown out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty color, too. Okay. Oops. And here it tells us the information of the style. With this style, it's best for fine, medium, and coarse hair types with straight hair. So if you had curly hair, this type of style wouldn't be recommended. If your face is long and narrow, then this is a good style for you. If your face is fuller or, you know, shorter, you wouldn't want to wear this. It talks about the different styling products, how long it takes to style the hair. I mean, this is important, too. If you love a look, but you want to be ready in 10 minutes, this may not be the look for you. So let's go back to styles. Okay. And you can just kind of go up and down to see what you like. And then we can always change the color and things, too. And what's also fun is maybe you wouldn't particularly pick a style for yourself, but it gives you an idea of, oh, wow, this is how I look with layers, or this is how I look curly. Okay, let's go to some medium styles, maybe. These are going to be a little bit shorter, obviously, but it gives you an idea of what you would look like. You like that one? Totally different look for you. Yeah. And then we can change the coloring. We can go a little bit darker. Now, that's a recommended color. They're saying put some red in it, you know. So... Now this is probably a little bit closer to your color. And you can flip which side you do the part on. Some people part on the left, some people part on the right. Kind of fun. But see, you, you were saying, show me long styles, Alexis. And then what did you pick? The classic bob. <laughs> so this style. Oh, and you're like, I'm going to grow it out when I'm allowed. <laughs> Sure. Well, I'm not telling you to cut your hair off today by any means whatsoever. <laughs> but this is a great classic cut. It's ideal for someone with medium to coarse hair. Um, definitely straight hair is better because it's easier in terms of styling. Um, a long, narrow face is usually ideal, but I think the classic bob can look great on just about anyone, depending on how it's cut. You can have it bi-level. You can have it straight. Um, the ideal styling products would be the mousse, a shine serum, and definitely you want to be able to dry it so it's straight and smooth. Um, they tell you how to dry it, and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get ready. Do you want to look at some other styles, too? And go ahead and page right through. 
It's another version of a bob with like no bangs. Some layers. Okay, she also likes this, which I think is kind of fun because it gives a little bit of flip. You could probably do the classic bob cut still, but just have some layering put in it. And you can even go longer with the style, too. It doesn't have to be as short as it's showing here. Okay, but they could always do a longer version as well. So it's good pretty much for any hair type. Straight hair is ideal. Um, again, face shape, long and narrow. I'm going to tell you that I think the long, narrow face shape is probably the best for any style. <laughs> but the picture is what really tells us how it looks on you. A perfect look for long face shapes with narrow, pointy chins. Hmm, interesting. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, and we can flip your bangs. That is kind of cute, Don. I do like that. You can always change the color. You could go a little bit lighter. How about, let's just be crazy. We're going to make you hot pink. <laughs> now there you go. That's the look. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, Don, <laughs> what's going on with you? Fun and funky hair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, do we want to play with a little bit of Jane makeup since we have your photo in here? Okay. Let's. Oh, gosh. Uh, that I don't know. Okay, so again, with our Jane, this is something that you can probably even upload to your phone. We're going to go, please select a photo first. Okay. Oh, from our album. I've got to know how to work my own app here. We can see lots of people have been playing with this. Tilted face dedicated. Oh, detected. Okay. So now it's figuring out her features. Do you want to save this photo as a model photo? No, we're not going to save it. Now look at that. How fun is that? This is a little bit more complicated in terms of an app, but what it does is it helps you to line up the little pinpoints so that when the colors go on, it makes sense on your face. So what I'm doing is I'm just touching these little dots and I'm lining them up to Dawn's features. You know, the computer does what it can to try to detect your natural features, but clearly it's not always accurate. And you know what? It's tough, too, when you have glasses on. I, I experienced that, too. I should have probably told you to take your glasses off. I'm sorry. For the makeup one especially, it's probably important. Look at those eyebrows. Wow. I think you need a wax. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Have you ever tried threading? That's always a good one, too. Okay. All right. So, are your lips open? No. Tap facial features to apply makeup. So now, let's say you want to try a foundation. Here's all your color selections right here on the wheel. And it shows you whether it's darker, lighter. Oh, I know, you're trying to die on me, of course. We have our powdered or loose foundations, pressed powders, and of course the BB creams. So, we tap the color that we want. Okay. Yeah. And then look, I just swipe my finger over her face. And you probably can't tell from where you're sitting, but if you want to look back here, I'll show you. I'm just literally swiping my finger over the picture just like this. And it puts the color on her face, which this is a little golden for you. Let's go a tad lighter. And you can see how it reduces the redness in your skin. How fun is that? <laughs> Let's go maybe a touch darker. I don't know if I like the powder on you. Maybe we should go with this guy. I think
think it's layering on top of layering. Let's clear. Would you, you will lose the current makeover. Continue. Yes. Okay. I think it's layering the colors. I'm like, whoa, this is looking crazy. There we go. There. So this is just going to kind of balance your skin out a little bit. Then we can hit our makeup tools. We can blend. We can remove. We can smudge if it's an eye look. How fun is that, right? Compare, if you wanted to compare it to someone else's look. Okay, now let's do eyes. These are the different liners. The mysticals. <coughs> Dark brown liner, so something like that guy. Okay, so now we go in and we just swipe over her eyes, which is what I'm doing here and it's lining the eyes. Probably a little harder to tell because her eyes look very dark on here. This is why good lighting is important with this app. And then I've tapped on, oh, Hazel, yeah, so it change a little bit. Yeah. So now I've ta tapped up onto her brow bone and we can color in her brows. see it's starting to darken a little bit more. So just kind of a fun way to try on some different looks without having to totally commit. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah. Who else would like to give it a try? Okay. Well, there's Lori. So we're going to adjust her face. And then we're going to go to style. Okay. Let's hide the background so we can kind of get a night. Look at that short hair. <laughs> okay. Let's start with some long styles. I don't know why it has you in such a dark color, but you can certainly, you can also swipe it to look if you want to try on every style that it recommends. Ooh, back to the 80s, ladies. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and kind of scan through there, Lori, and see what you like. I can. Do you want me yeah. to put your actual color yeah. so it's not throwing you off? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, you're no that fun. <laughs> Is that better? You're more golden, though, huh? Maybe something like that. Does that look more like you? Like that? Too dark? I should let you girls do You're the pros. You're the hair pros. Go for it. Touch one. That's got a little red. In the meantime, we've tried on lots of fun colors for you, Lori. <laughs> Lori, who has never colored her hair before? I, <laughs> I know. Let's play with that one just to give us the idea. Okay, so now you can look through the styles, Lori, and see what you think. Some of these styles are really funny. I think, like, who would wear that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of the curls, especially. Which one, the middle one there? Oh, look how cute. Okay, let's hide the colors here. You can flip your bangs. Let's find out what it takes to do this style. So for this style, well, let's just talk about it first. For this style, it's nice for a wide or round face shape, probably because you have all those nice long layers. Um, this is a 30 to 40 minute style. So if Lori doesn't want to take a lot of time in the morning, this is probably not the style for her. <laughs> okay. So let's go back. I know. 
I know. And then when you're older, you're like, oh. <laughs> okay, we'll page through a few more and see what you think. The wrinkles in your forehead. I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know if bangs go against wearing glasses necessarily. Sometimes I pull mine down into bangs. And like you said, you wear bangs. Do you want to try some medium like stuff? get older, unfortunately, huh? Everything changes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Thank you for joining us, Michelle. This guy? <laughs> you know, I know. The, it's the way it looks. Yeah. 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 My hair's crazy. still in there. So. Yeah. Because we have her shoulders. I know. It'd be nice if you could hide. I know. You definitely need a lot of styling product. But even if she had it a little longer, too, it'd be really cute. Like, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, really no, I this is how I wear it all the time. This is So yeah. are you trying to look into maybe changing it up a little bit? Yeah. Wow, look at how dramatic that is. High fashion. I actually like <laughs> oh, it was a year ago I had it, I just went in and I said, do whatever you want and then they made it straight. Mm. And I was like, I don't necessarily like that. But think mm -hmm. of it as something you can fix easily. Right, but looking at some of the wavy styles helps, too, to mm -hmm. get a better idea. Like, this is not maybe ideal, but mm -hmm. it has a little of your natural wave. It gives mm -hmm. a little bit of a layer in the bang. You know, that's kind of a pretty look. And you can, like, if her hair is finer, we can narrow it down a little bit. Yeah, that's very heavy, thick hair. Yeah. So let's look at some of the style information on that. 20 minutes with gel. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. Exactly. Yeah. You can get some other styles if you like. There we go. And then there's also this. Let me just show you really quickly, too. This is kind of fun. This is the updo package. So let's say she had to go to a wedding and she <laughs> wanted to try an updo style. How fun is that? <laughs> how she would look side swept with feathers. <laughs> we'll go back to how cute. That's probably got like a twist in the back, a little updo. You know, so you may have seen a few things that you're like, yeah, that's really cute, but ah, it's so short. You know, so the good part is you show the professional, I like the way this frames my face. I like the bangs. You know, is there something that we can do to maybe change it up a little bit, um, but still maintain that style? And that's where Michelle or Cindy can come in, and they can kind of weigh in and go, no, we can do it longer. We can add some dimension with color. Um, we can straighten it. You can wear it curly. Some styles are really great when they have curl because they have that little bit of layering to them, so you can go either way. Other styles like that bob that we looked at, if you have curly hair, it's going to look frizzy and and weird at times. So, well, I apologize that that this 
dying. We're going to let it charge for a few minutes, and then we can have the rest of you guys try it out, okay? So what do you guys think of virtually you, virtually new you? <laughs> kind of fun, right? Kind of different? Yeah. The back. I know, I know. I think in the style information it tells you some of the ideas of what you can do. Um, I agree. It would be nice if we could see the back. Is it a twist? Are they French curls? I think really you could probably do just about anything with the back. The big style right now is to have all those loose, it looks like it's unkept, but it's like perfectly unkept, <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, where it's all kind of looping and pinned up. And the front is what really frames your face. You know, do you want it swept to the side? Do you want it full and curly? And I think that's the part where most people don't really know. You know, they know they want it up, they, they're good with the twist, or they're good with the curls, but they don't realize what the rest of their face is going to look like, because typically we don't comb our hair flat and put a barrette in it, or we don't have it all fluffy on top of our head with feathers in it. But when we do something formal, we do maybe come out of the box a little bit and try something different. So, I know. And you know what? I suffer from that, because when I do my hair, I'm like, this. And do you ever catch your side view after a while of the day and you're like, oh my gosh, I look like I have a big <laughs> back of my head. Three-way mirror. Yeah, it's difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing too, the stylist can kind of help you um, learn how to do different techniques with your hair um, in terms of finishing. I know, it's tough. It is tough. My 10-year-old... <laughs> My 10-year-old is my girl. The, the oldest and the youngest are my boys. And she had very long hair, and I'm trying to teach her to, to do it herself, train her, you know, because I don't have time to get us both ready anymore. It's just too much. So um, I bring her in to get her hair done here regularly, and Michelle did it for her. And she's like, Mom, we have a beaver's tail going on in here. Because <laughs> she just brushes the top layer. She doesn't brush all the way through <laughs> her hair. So they had to get it all untangled. So she just actually got a bob. I just cut her, you know, shorter at the neck, and it comes longer in the front so she doesn't feel like all oh, her length is gone. But I know she's going to swim for the summer. She's going to play. She's, you know, maybe this will help her learn how to brush completely through her hair a little bit. You know, so we'll see. But, oh, to, to cut a bob. A beaver tail? Her her hair was all knotted up and matted. Well, she has extremely curly hair. It's really difficult to keep. And if she doesn't brush through, her hair is thick too. She ha could make like three heads of hair. So if she doesn't brush all the way through all those layers, like I've tried to teach her to section her hair, pull the rest of it up, brush through, bring the next section down, brush through, and that's what I do especially when I'm drying her hair and trying to straighten her hair. Kids don't have time for that. <laughs> they don't care about that. Did you do your hair? Or she'll put it in a ponytail. So she'll comb just the top and just underneath. And it's this middle, you know, <laughs> black hole of hair that she has. So you know where it goes, right? And then they throw the pony around it. Oh, yep, looks good, looks good. And out the door she goes, you know, plasters the bangs down. Oh, did you have like a feathered style? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just in place. I think sometimes men spend more time on their hair than we do on ours, right? <laughs> oh, I know when I was young, it was Aquanet hairspray, and you would blow dry your hair, and while it was flying, you would spray it with the spray, and you'd have the big wings. Oh, my gosh. My oldest, he was looking through my yearbook because he goes to the same high school I went to. And he says, oh, I want to see if some of my teachers were 
in the school still way back when. So we're looking through the thing, and they're laughing, him and his girlfriend. Look at this person's hair. Look at this guy. You know, it's just it's so funny to look back and laugh. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, do we have any power here? We have a little, oh, only 1%. Okay. Well, we'll give that a little bit of time to charge, and is there any questions that you guys have about the virtual apps and the virtual you? Kind of easy, right? Kind of fun. I know, I know. She's like, no, no, no. And I definitely invite all of you to come into the salon at your leisure, try the virtual app. I'm going to let it charge, so if any of you haven't had a chance today and you want to, it, we use the iPad. Yeah, because you have to be able to take your picture. Yeah. Yeah, just like we did with Don and Lori. Mm hmm exactly. And then you can play with the styles and the colors and all those fun things. I think somebody must have done it yesterday, and that's why I'm trying. They, they set me up. <laughs> Probably so. I thought I had it off. That is true. Actually, let me see if I can close some of them out. I know, too, if you set, like, your cell phone to airplane mode, it charges faster, too. But thank you. That's a good point. I'll shut it off for now. Okay. Well, we'll give that a little bit of time. If you ladies would like to go over to the salon and see what they have going on over there, you're welcome to do that. Or, of course, mingle if you have questions for the stylists as well. Um, with the Jane, the app is fun, but we also do complimentary makeovers all the time. So you can always try the makeup on physically, too, even if it's just a color match to get an idea about evening out your tone of your face. Um, I do wear a lot of makeup, but that doesn't mean that I feel you should wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> it's just something I like to do. Um, but they can do some very beautiful, natural, soft looks. Or if you have an occasion that you have to go to and you're not sure and you, you want to have your makeup done, you do that here, too. So it's really nice. Yeah. Okay. The more you have to take. Well, let me tell you about something we have that is amazing. It's called the Magic Mitt. It's by Jane Iredell. And as you can see, I do have quite a bit of makeup on. I, I wear, actually, I have two foundations on today. I have a BB cream, and then I put a loose powder foundation over top of it, the Amazing Base. Um, then I have my powdered blush and a bronzer and a little bit of a cheek shine. I, I get all just those up here. Brows and shadow and I have on um, a mascara that lengthens. And the Magic Mitt, you just wet it with water. No cleansers, no makeup remover, nothing. And it will remove all of your makeup. And I couldn't believe it. We went to a Jane class and they were telling us about it and I thought, oh, baloney, not my face. <laughs> not this chick. But I said, let me get one because sometimes, admittedly, at the end of the night, I'm tired and I'm a little lazy. I don't always want to get my cleanser out and get my scrub and my eye makeup remover. I just want to hit the sheets. You know, I'm tired. So I got the mitt and I tried it, and it's amazing. It really works. And it's great, especially for someone like yourself even with sensitive skin. You might not be able to use a lot of cleansers or scrubs, but you want to be able to remove everything effectively. And some people even say that it's nice because when you use a cleanser on your skin, we have something called an acid mantle. And that's what balances the hydration and the moisture in your skin and allows you to, you know, anti-aging or if you're dry, your acid mantle is off balance, acid mantle. If you're using cleansers, that takes the acid mantle off balance too. So the fact that this uses just water, some customers say that they don't even need as much moisturizer anymore, or the oily customers love it because it's not adding to the oil on their skin because it's completely water. So it's kind of a neat thing to try also. It's like a little washcloth, but it goes over your hand, and what they said is it takes the technology of looping the threads, and the threads are really fine like the thickness of a hair, but they've twined them around in a, such a way that those loops, when you're going like this across your face, they grab onto and capture all of the debris, makeup, whatever you have on your face, and just wipe it away. 
I didn't find it to be irritating. She does too. And I would caution that someone with rosacea just wouldn't want to scrub, scrub, scrub. You know, if you don't put a lot on in the first place, it won't be difficult to take off. Like me, mascara and everything takes it all off. Now, I don't use waterproof mascara because I want it to come off. I hate waterproof. Um, but we had a woman in our class say that she uses waterproof mascara, and it even took that off for her, which I thought was amazing. You know, I still will default sometimes to a makeup remover because my lengthening mascara, although it does take it off, I just feel like I get a better clean. But for me, when I have those days where I'm like, oh, I don't want to go through the whole process, I just dampen it, wipe my face, and then it washes clean. You can use a regular soap. I use an unscented glycerin bar so that it's just very clean, very pure. You just hand wash it, rinse it, and it dries on the sink. And that's the other thing. It doesn't hang on to any um, microbes or any type of contaminants, so it doesn't grow mold. It doesn't grow anything that's going to irritate the skin or bacteria that would add to an acneic person. A lot of our younger people get them because, you know, who's lazier than a teenager? <laughs> I love it, but, you know. Would never do what? It's simple and easy. Well, the hand washing part of it. Well, every time, I like I'll use one side and then I'll use the other side and then I wash it. But I mean, again, it's up to the person and how they want to dedicate to their skin care. If the cleansing wipes work, I mean, great. If they don't and they're getting more breakouts and, you know. Yeah, and I'll tell you what's amazing about it. The first time I tried it, I used one side to clean my face. And I looked at it and I went, okay, let me flip it over. And I used the other side, nothing on the white. So it really did work. Like I've even used Clinique in the past where you use the cleanser and then you go back in and you use this liquid exfoliator. And I'm still getting makeup residue when it, my face should be clean. You know, and I'm, I'm very thorough about cleaning my face when I take the time. Um, why, <laughs> why do it if you're not going to do it right? And so I was really surprised, so I tested the magic mitt with that, too. I washed my face, and then I took my little liquid exfoliator, nothing. So I was, because I'm a seeing is believing kind of girl. You know, I love that there are all these wonderful marketing things, and, oh, this is great. But I like to use something, too, before I say, oh, yep, it's everything they say it is and more. You know, so the good thing, too, everything is 100% guaranteed. So if you decide to try it today, not that I was planning on talking about Magic Mint, but I'm happy that we did, um, you can always try it, and if it doesn't work for you, we take everything back, 100%. No questions asked. So it's kind of a neat thing to try for yourself. It cleanses the skin. Exfoliation is a little bit different because exfoliation is actually going to remove a layer of the skin, but it, what it does is it has a deep cleaning action. So it pulls all of the debris, makeup, etc., off of the face and out of those pores without kind of disrupting that acid mantle. When you use a chemical product, a soap, a cleanser, it's going to use the chemical reaction to cleanse the face versus the physical action. That's why the rosacea gals were kind of concerned because, you know, physically doing too much to the face could cause irritation. Whereas with me, my face is like really strong, <laughs> so I can get really rough if I have to. Um, but we have one of our younger girls, she's not here today, she has severe acne and she got the magic mitt because she felt that she needed something to really help clean up her skin and it's been wonderful. She uses that and the My Shell. Um, I don't know, do any of you use My Shell? We have a wonderful program right now going on with My Shell. There are some sensitive pieces too. What did Gretchen recommend for you? It's so hard to know for sure. We can look and see if we have any of the things she recommended, and I can sample that out to you, too. Okay. Um, Pure Harmony, was that one of the ones she talked about? The Pure Harmony? Yeah. Aloe is great, too. Mm -hmm. Very soothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be careful. Vitamin E. Well, with my shell, one of the nice um, programs that we're doing right now, it's a skincare line. They also have SPF um, for face and for body. They have self-tanner. 
Um, when you purchase $50 in my shell, you get a free 30-minute facial. When you purchase $75 in my shell, you get a free hour facial. And this promotion is going on through the end of the summer, and you can get them as many times as you like. We've had people already redeeming their facial, and they're getting ready to get their next <laughs> facial. So it's kind of a neat little way to pamper yourself if you've never had a facial before to try it out. Let's see how our 